Hey, what up guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're talking about this stupid ass dude who wants to get his 15 minutes in fame. And he is a 41 year old dude who ends up filming these two teenagers who just got in a car wreck. A man charged with trespassing for opening a car door instead of helping a teenager involved in a deadly crash. So basically, it says at one point, the guy films a 17-year-old and he's mocking them, making fun of them. And at the end of the day, this piece of shit right here should be going to jail. And what's he thinking? It's so funny. As soon as he got home, he uploaded to Facebook and it says he did try to sell this to... Uh, a news organization. No one's gonna buy this piece of shit. Uh, what? What's the point? Behavior at a deadly car crash. He films the two teenage victims inside of, instead of trying to help them. Then tries to sell footage to a local report. My personal opinion. Why the hell would you take your phone out and film? It's so sickening today that in society we think it's more enjoyable to film people, to film stuff, and put it on Instagram, put it on YouTube, put it on Facebook to get our 15 minutes of fame and get 14 million views and be like, look, I, I filmed somebody, somebody dying. This is a sick son of a bitch right here. It makes me sick that this individual tries to take a stupid phone out and look and film why this kid dies. This kid is someone's brother, someone's uh, friend, someone's uh, son. That in 2015 you have people out there, especially a 41 year old dude should know better than to pull out his camera phone and film. I can understand maybe if it was like a 12 year old or a teenager or something like that. But at the end of the day, you're supposed to help somebody. You're not supposed to be out there making fun of somebody, tampering with a car accident, and especially someone who's in a car wreck that has died and is on their way to death. You call 911 and say, hey, can you help somebody? There's a car wreck. You don't sit there. And my thing is, you have all these onlookers, and especially all the car crashes I've ever been in, you have a lot of weird people who just drive by and not help, not stop, not even say, do you need help? I would rather have people stop and say, hey, can I help you? Do you need help? Should I call 911? No, here's what it is in society. People drive by and look like this, but they're too stupid to stop and ask if you need help because they assume either someone else already called for help, help is on the way, but at the end of the day, this guy should be in jail for what he did. He basically watched somebody die. What's he going to do when he goes home and talks to his wife? Hey, how was your day, honey? Oh, it was pretty good. What'd you do? Oh, I, I seen a car wreck. Oh, really? Uh, was it a deadly car crash or what What happened? No, nah, I went open and opened the door and filmed this teenager who was uh, suffering. His wife's going to like slap him in the face and be like, what the fuck? You didn't help? And he's like, nah, I didn't really want to help. I just had to get my 15 minutes of fame. So at the end of the day... What would you have done in this situation? If you would have rolled up and you would have seen these two teenagers, one survived and one is um, dead, would you have tried to help the guy out, try to pull them out? Would you call 911? Would you try to done anything you possibly could to help this person? Because me personally, I don't know anything about medical. I don't know CPR. I don't know any of that stuff. But if I was in that situation, I would try to do everything to get that kid out of the car and at least get 911 there because... I don't want to see someone die. But at the end of the day, this dude is a sick son of a bitch. I'll see you guys in the next video. These, these kind of stories really piss me off.